Okay, hello and welcome to the second ed- edition of the Baking Tray Podcast. Um, today we're going to be covering um, TV themes and the Nintendo Switch, plus a game with a prize I think you might enjoy. Um, today, oh, oh there, yeah, there are prizes. It's quite quite a good prize, but I'll leave you be judge of that. What is it? A paint? <laughs> Unfortunately, not. <laughs> oh. Damn. Well, let's meet today's ingredients in our conversation <laughs> pie. Uh, firstly, we have some Jamie Miller. That's me. Hello. Yes. Some Adam Myers. Hello. <laughs> 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 I have to have a, I have to have a, like a special hello. So bumble <laughs> noise was that? What? So what sort of bumble noise was that? No oh, bumble. Shut up. Bumble, bumble. And we have some Kelly. Yo, what's up? <laughs> And some Darren. I'm the sensible one of the bunch. <laughs> that, that is true. That is very, very true. <laughs> he is the elder the of the Boy, boy, food. Did you just say some? <laughs> yeah. The, the word <laughs> some yeah, exists. Oh, yeah. Look, look it up and I'll play Scrabble. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, so, uh, kick things off, we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch. So, mm. everybody's played it, I presume. I mean, J- Jamie definitely has for the last five, <laughs> 20 minutes. The 20, ten minutes, come <laughs> <Ten> on. Minutes, <laughs> yeah. Played two rounds of Fast RX or whatever it's called. Yeah, Fast RMX. Oh, and RMX. A, bit, a, bit, a, bit, so a, bit, a bit of 1 2 Switch. Yeah. <laughs> no, that is true, actually. Bit on, of on non neon Joy Cons. <laughs> yeah. Bit of milking. Yeah. So, let's, let's go with opinions. <laughs> So opinions. Op- opinions on things. <laughs> well, we pretty much had like a strong opinion pretty much back in January because some of us actually went to the Landon. Switch event in yes, London, yes. Especially to meet Ashens. <laughs> Which oh. we didn't well, that 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 was your yeah, yeah, Ashens Ash- Ash- yeah, Ash- Ash- was down at the uh, Switch launch event in Hammersmith. Well, no, I, I know he went, but I didn't know you met him. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He did? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Wow. It was like usually with bouncers yeah. and that. I'm incredibly well, jealous of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He's just sort of like chilling with his uh, yeah. well, his, his crew, posse. His crew. <laughs> the first I got to meeting Ashens was mailing him a Game Boy game in the post. So. <laughs> <laughs> Which Game Boy game? Um, it was Warrior Wet Twisted for Game Boy Advance. Oh, okay. All right. Never heard of it. The America only game. Yeah. It was, yeah. That's which is uh, <laughs> Because it was on Twitter, he was saying you couldn't get a copy anywhere. And I was like, I got one, I'll send it to you. And it was like, no, put it on eBay. It's like, no, I'm sending it. <laughs> you will be it's my friend. It, it, it's worthless to me. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, the Switch. Um, it's come all of it. It was actually probably the best console that I've owned for like quite a while. Yeah, it's the it's the only. It's, it's the latest console I've owned since the Wii. That's how long it's been like since I've owned the actual console. Yeah. Wow. Was <laughs> it saying that I still have my PS2 in like perfect working order? Then that's because, that's because that. Greg here is a member of the PC Master Race, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes. I, I, I spent more on Xbox PC. Up, I, I spent more on PC upgrades than I did on my entire Switch bundle. Yeah. Let the glorious Master Race be represented. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Although. I, 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 actually, have you tasted a Switch card? Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. Do this, I don't do this! Oh, no, he's gonna lick it! Yeah, just, just lick, lick the top part where there's no electronic oh. bits. No, no, um, that's a shame. I was really hoping to lick the contacts. <laughs> it's basically I'm gonna hate this, it's the I? stuff that they, you, put, you put on nails to stop them from biting your nails. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> I haven't even attempted the licking. Oh, it could get it. Could I want to do it. It's actually getting worse. Yeah, must be with it. Must be Right. Right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh that's pretty no! Just like, I mean, that's because in that's what Nintendo did. I used to lick Bobby's as kids. There's one. <laughs> there's one. One thing Nintendo oh, were worried about was like say it's a small product, so the worried kids are gonna put in their mouth, so they yeah. covered it with this very sour tasting bitumen all over the plastic. Yeah. yeah. And you that to make that's sure what that you can taste. Bitumen's an appropriate yeah. name, because <laughs> she didn't that one of the say that they actually done that just to make sure that cats or dogs would not swallow the car. And kids. Yes. And kids, yeah. yeah. And kids. I don't know how they worry about that. Yeah. No, we, well looks look, look, we, kids like to put things in their mouths. Yeah, yeah. 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 DS's for the past what, ten years now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but the character are a bit smaller than DS cards. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, but pretty much I know we've got like I know like kids are like they're all like kids these days. Who in the right mind would actually put DS card, like a DS card, uh, like, like that sole card in their actual mouth? Who in the yes. right mind? 
Okay. Well, children? Kids. Yeah. Well, no, just kid, 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 kids, kids like to put anything in their mouths. Like, 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 like <laughs> well, no, like, 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 put shit in their mouths. Like, it's the ultimate completionist move. Like, you finish the game, so that's what he's saying. I don't think he's going to do it. I'll consume the game anyway. He probably takes the heart by mistake. Why does this have small parts? Maybe it's because I'm supposed to eat them. It looks like a little ball of chocolate. Yeah, that's the stuff that you put on your nails to stop you from biting your nails. And I can see why, because it is fucking bile. Yeah, the phrase of choking hazard is just a challenge. Okay, back on topic. Back on topic. Hey, it's part of the experience. Has anyone actually finished Zelda yet? Um, I yes. don't actually own Zelda yet. I okay. know a lot of people's going to be like, you don't own Zelda, what's really? wrong with you? Oh, no, like, no, I can go one better. I don't even own a Switch. Yeah, that's well, not well, Jamie, so you're not... I played it for the first time, like, ten minutes ago. <laughs> hey, I'm again, then. I, I, I did, started did Zelda, I went had for about a week. I've got to pay about 10 or 11 yeah. hours. I'm just yeah, throwing I've, a pay money. You know, I've had it since day oh. one, and I've just beaten the third Divine Beast. <laughs> so you're only three quarters of the way through. She's saying that, but there's also all the core, like the 900 Korok seeds to get. <laughs> all the shrines to beat. The yep. piece of food <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but... And now I've got to attempt a speed run. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, apparently somebody sped, sped run it in three and a half hours on day one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Someone that. seriously well, by, got... By completing the Great Plateau, then going straight to Ganon. Pretty much. Well, obviously, pretty someone's much. got just it's too much time on their hands. Obviously, it's kind of like Yogg-Saron in Warcraft. You can do him with it without the four Guardians. Mm. It's just a lot harder. Yeah. yeah. But do you think that Zelda should have like a multiplayer aspect just so they can no. actually have like no. two people yeah, no. bones on the world? No, no, Zelda no. historically has always been a single player experience. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I don't see any reason to change it. Oh, well, it, I, it, I, it I just count four swords. Yeah, I think I was saying to Darren earlier, I can almost guarantee that when Smash Brothers for the Switch comes out, the Divine Beasts will be a stage. Mm-hmm. I can guarantee you the Divine Beasts will be a stage. And just, mm-hmm. Well, just because the, 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 the Divine Beasts are quite large in scale, mm-hmm. and the... Um, each stage has bits that move. It's like the elephant has like a trunk that moves, sprays water. Well, it wouldn't be a very good trunk if it didn't move. Yeah, but yeah. no, that's part of the puzzle in the game. Got like, each divine beast has bits that you have to move to progress through them. Like the, the elephant has a trunk. The um, the gecko rotates itself. But the, <laughs> well, the, ge- the gecko <laughs> rotates, and the, the, the camel has three bits which spin all like 360 in its belly. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what the oh. hawk is, so yeah. I have no, I'm not gotten the hawk yet. If it's anything yeah. like the sand hawk from Mario Sunshine, it's going to be the worst thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we do not speak about. Yeah. 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 Until yeah. now. Oh. What's wrong with Mario Sunshine? I don't know, I've never the, the last box? <laughs> is like oh. Bowser in a hot tub? That's basically... <laughs> 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 the, the last that's boss. A very, Bowser that's a, in a hot that's tub. That's that, that is a very frightening analogy, that. It's not an analogy, it's the actual last boss of Mario Sunshine. He's in a giant bath. <laughs> oh no, 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 we're on about now, yeah. I finished it a little bit long ago. <laughs> There's an image I didn't want. I thought you were talking about Zelda. It's like, what, why is Bowser in the Zelda game? <laughs> 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 it just turns out of nowhere. It's just like, yeah, no, like, well, yeah, yeah, like, like, why is Link in a Mario game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, on Squidlings, they can't even turn into squids and go <laughs> into the state. <laughs> 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 okay. okay, now the Switch. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so uh, what, one, two, I, I saw one, one, two, one, one, two yeah. Switch, I think, sh- I, isn't worth the £40 that you paid for it. It should have been a package. Yeah, it should have been, yeah, yeah. been like, um, automatically installed. Yeah, it should have come like, like Wii Sports as a free yeah. game software with the Switch. Yeah. It's a simple, um, yeah. Or, game, or, or, it, or it should have been like 20 quid instead yeah. of 40. I don't think it was worth the 40 no. quid. It's a good game, but definitely price, not though. worth yeah. the money. That's, it's one of the main things that stopped me getting one at the minute is one that I don't think the price is quite right. I mean, I'd, I'd enjoy having one, but <laughs> yeah. uh, the price isn't quite right for it too. There's just no software. I mean, you've got Zelda, yeah, Fast Armex, and yet. then Monster Switch. Not yet, that's not, about not it. yet, no. Oh, that, Bomberman. That, that, that's intended. Bomberman! Yeah. This yeah. Yeah. at the launches of their big title sites. See, you're getting Mario Kart at the end of this month. Yeah. Arms? Yeah. Getting, Arms, 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 arms in here. May, you're getting Splatoon 2 in the summer. Well, that's obviously. the that's And then you get Mario Odyssey in time for Christmas. Okay, so that's the thing. Until there's like a decent yeah. selection yeah. of like, well, mainly Mario Kart. That's what they did with the Wii. Arms is actually really funny yeah. as well. That's what they the Wii because if you remember when the Wii launched, the main complaint was where's the Mario title? And then one year later, they bring out Mario Galaxy. No, oh, true. Yeah. And, and that spiked the sales up massively. Yeah. Mm. Well, Mario Galaxy was decent. Mm. Oh, it was never played. I can't play Mario Galaxy. I played play, 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 play. I think. Yeah. I, I, I can't play it, give me motion sickness. <laughs> Fair <laughs> one. on a tiny planet, it's just, no, I'm going to vomit. Yeah, we've got it, obviously, we've got it. It's the one game or two games we've It's the one game, but 
sequel to two games actually because the sequel is even better. It's the it's the one set of games that makes motion control motion controls worth it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh yes. I just have one of them on Wii. What was it? Uh, the Paper Mario game on Wii. But that was actually mm. uh, Super Paper mm. Mario. Yeah. 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 Oh, actually, that, just that, do. That, that's just that's just one of those you just did where you more just yeah. start on its side. Yeah, it was like an NES controller. Yeah, just it was a good Mario game for the system. Really in terms of motion controls as well, like I I had um, Star Wars Force Unleashed on the Wii. You attack yeah. by swinging the Wii remote, that's your lightsaber attack. Did you get one of those like really long plastic attachments that you put on the Wii remote? You could have <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's optional though. I know you could, yeah. I was just asking if you had one. No, I didn't. <laughs> But, um, it did get ruined plastic. when um, Force exactly. Awakens 2 Idiots. came out and they just had it as like, oh, just sta- you don't swing, it's just a standard control setup, you don't have to swing. And it's kind of yeah. rubbish. But um, what, 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 I've not played Bomberman yet. What it's really you, fun. We played Airway Bomberman. Yeah, because yeah, you know, we got this, Adam has the uh, Bomberman so Street Pass mini leads yes, going yeah, at the yeah, moment. Which, which was um, won by Sam Tuff of all people. Yeah. And I actually beat, I was the only person to beat them on yeah. it. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, it was only the group stage. But I don't <laughs> care, I still but, beat it um, on Bomberman. But yeah, it, yeah, it was actually, yeah. Bomberman's actually really, really fun. Especially yeah, if you do the Pitfall version. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the only oh, thing that... Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you. We just had yeah. olives delivered to us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try an right. olive. Yeah. I've never had an olive in my life. Yeah, just I wish you'd bring it over the well. topic at the moment. We're just watching Kelly eat her olive. <laughs> <laughs> She's sniffing a good sniff. Giving a good sniff. Oh. She inhales the olive uh, and wait, takes wait. the first bite. Hang on. She seems to be wait, displeased. Oh. <laughs> wait. Hang on, wait. I think there's, is that a yep. bit of, That is better as well. I'm going to have a bit of cheese. Just yeah, for context, the reaction of uh, Kelly I'll eating an olive was much I'll the same as me licking a switch cartridge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. Okay. I don't know what to make of that. What? <laughs> Took it and Bomb Man. Yes, but yes, Bomb Man um, had a little, mm-hmm. little, made a little mini league at Street Pass. It actually ended up being a really good success. I may do like a big one further down the line, and hopefully, I should involve more bombers into it because I've completed the story. And Sweet. I got uh, five new bombers to uh, actually purchase. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I think there's like a secret six bomber where I think you have to uh, beat the story and actually get three stars on every single level. I think it's you have to beat the story in the hardest mode and get three stars on every level. That's not going to happen because <laughs> I tried that this, this afternoon. Try doing the black hole level, which is the last level. In hard mode. In hard mode. You have to do it in five lives. Not gonna happen because I lost two lives in a space for a minute. Damn, it's ridiculous. Son. It's I played I played a lot of Bomberman games, but this one takes the cake for difficulty. I think so we should have done that when we went to Birmingham and we're marking that. that. Oh, that would be hilarious. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> that would be good. If there is a sick character, you'll have to hope it's not the Bomberman that they try to reboot on 360. Because that was atrocious. <laughs> yeah. I think that might be the main. I think the main boss is the Secret Six character. I could be wrong. All right. But you get like Disco Bomberman, the Plasma Bomberman and that, but I really want the Disco, disco. Bomberman. Yeah, just, 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 <laughs> this sounds amazing. No, 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 it does, I'm just imagining no, no, these bombs are glitter balls. I'm exactly, yeah, that was, yeah. And wrong. it's just um, Rainbow Colad as well. Well, it could be wrong, it could be Disco or Karaoke Bomberman, I think, but it's it's funky. Yeah. Yeah. He's like down in the 60s or something with like a massive mat hair or yeah. something. Okay. Oh, just, just, just think just thinking of like unlockables and stuff. Just, uh, just, uh, have you done all of the hero modes and stuff on Fast RMX? Um, I'm halfway <laughs> through the supersonic. I've, I've done subsonic. Yeah. Can we say I've locked, I've unlocked all the crap. That's all 15 crap. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm, I'm, I'm so, so half, half under you. Would you get like 100% on the. Championships and then, and then never know. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> so, no, an, an olive off now. <laughs> Kelly ate yet another olive. I'm sure you get some for 100% in hero mode, like to get first yeah. place in every cup. Well, you've got to get first place in hero mode, that's, oh. that's the thing. You, can't, you can't get anything lower. Like, basically, on fast RMX hero mode, mm, yeah. is when you've got the highest score you can get in hero mode. Yeah. 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 You start with the maximum game boost, with but maximum that maximum boost. boost is also your shield. Yeah, and when you, when you run out so of it shield... Works, it works exactly like my yeah, yeah, when you run Yeah, so when you run out of shield, you blow up. Yeah. And, and, if, you, and, and you, if you crash or anything, or fall off the so stage, you, you, you lose, and you've got to finish in first place. Mm. Sounds like XG3. I don't know if anybody's actually played XG3, but it's like mm, you're in like, so. like yeah. supersonic motorcycles, and your boost feeds Extreme off your shield. G- Extreme G3. Yeah. Extreme G3. Yeah. That's, um... Oh, that was on PS2. Two, PS2 yep. and GameCube, yeah. yeah. Excellent game. 
Oh, it's excellent. You might have to look that up. But yeah, mm. I am. Um, as you all know, I've written a review on the Switch. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Dazzle84.wordpress.com. So a bit of shameless. <laughs> a bit of shameless self-promotion there. <laughs> the, yeah. link, the link may or may not be included in the description below. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. And see, like you say, I mentioned lots of things about the Switch and all that, and I gave the, a, a, an A minus rating. So it's not, it's like, it's not a perfect console. See, I do have some genuine complaints about, it, although they are minor gripes. The first one being is this little thing oh, here, yeah, the which kickstand. is the, the kickstand. But it, it serves its purpose. Mm-hmm. But my problem is, and I'm going to demonstrate that you can't see this. Is only one kickstand. Yeah. I would yeah, have said, I would, said, I, would yeah. I would want, I would want a second kickstand yeah. there. Yeah. Even if it was separate, it would be if better. It, if it was separate, yeah, yeah it's separate. I'm sorry, but then again, it's the, the well. little charger oh, yeah, there. there. Yeah. But so if there was a second kickstand there, I would not have to fork out ten quid on a on a kickstand. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the, the, like the, the, the side, <laughs> the side that the kickstand is not on is where the volume control is on the top. Yeah. Yes. So when so when you you got it out and you want to adjust the volume. And you press it, it will flop. It will sort of flop <laughs> over. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. When see, when I'm holding, I'm having to hold the left hand side while I press the volume yeah. button on yeah. the tabletop mode. Slight more. design flaw yeah. with that. Yeah. So you, you've it's got, a slight. It's a slight. Yeah, it's so a minor you, gripe. Yeah. yeah. So if you've got your, your controller in one hand and you want to adjust the volume, you've got to put the controller down, steady it, and then press. Yeah. yeah. Unless you've got this third party stand yeah. that Darren's got that allows you to also charge it while it's. Yeah, you yeah. get a free cable with this as well. <laughs> I was trying yeah. to see about a similar the main uh, thing, problem with the, the main thing I wrote about tablet. that impressed me the most about the Switch is how they've managed to pack in so much power into such a small form factor. Because yeah. if you open up a Switch now, the circuit board is basically about a third of the size of the whole console. Yeah, well, most of it's taken by the battery. So yeah. watch the Ben Hack show. <laughs> <laughs> basically, the circuit board you've got, you've got me like Jamie here has got an NVIDIA Shield. I was going to say, yeah, I'm going to interrupt. Well, not interrupt. Um, just I, I brought the, the NVIDIA Shield, which has, I think, the same insides as the it, Switch. Uh, it's unless it, it doesn't have the same insides, it does have the same CPU. Yeah, mm-hmm. they're both uh, NVIDIA Tegra K ones. Yeah, they are. Um, this one, this one on the Switch has been slightly modified to work. Yeah, I would imagine so because it's, <laughs> I mean, this just runs yeah. Android, so it's a standard. Uh, it's, it's on its own custom OS. Yeah. Mm-hmm. On the switch, yeah. I, was, I was doing a volume switch comparison because with the stand I've got, it's like if you press the button, it just slides away from you. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> easier. Yeah, it doesn't. Be, so there's, yeah. No, there's no chance of it getting damaged. So yeah. the thing is, if you press the volume control, it's not going to fall. Are you sure? Because it might dwarf the table. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, the switch's circuit board is basically the Tegra X1, like you said, yeah. and two two gigabyte RAM chips, and that's yeah. all there is. Mm. Yeah, well, it's, got, it's got a micro SD card slot as well. It's got a micro SD card slot, it's, it's got, got 32 gigabytes of flash memory, which is on a separate circuit board, so it's yeah. easily upgradable. Yeah, it's a modular Yeah, I, 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 I bought a 128 gig SD micro SD card just to be on the safe side. <laughs> yes. Well, boy, how much did that set you back for that? 45 quid? No, about what? 45 quid. The 256, which is the biggest it, 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 means it, it, it does mean that I don't have to worry about running out of memory. I think it depends on where you buy yeah. it from, though, doesn't it? I got it from Ryman's. That explains it then. Yeah. That's a, okay, fair enough. <laughs> that explains it, yeah. yeah. But um, to, to, um, let me just bring this up. If I bring this up, continue. Well, so I, I, I think it's like a slightly worthwhile investment, just so I just don't have to oh, ever yeah. worry about having to delete things when we say files getting too big. I did it's very yeah, unlikely that I'll fill it up. Yeah, I did the same thing with the shield. I think that's got a 64 gig SD card on it. To, to just put it in perspective, um, yes, you only get 25.6 gigabytes. The store of storage to play up internally mm-hmm. and when you first buy the book because the rest of it's taken up by the OS mm-hmm. right but the point is that I've got five games okay yep. three of which I've downloaded I see I've got fast yep. armex I've t- fast armex in my opinion is the best graphical showcase oh, for the switch is a beautiful game. Game. There's some really good weather effects on some stage that you, you yeah. wouldn't have gotten to oh, see yeah. I can't remember there's, the stage I can't remember the stage where you're actually playing where it's in, I can't remember the name of the stage but um, it's it, a good it's, it, yeah it's like in a forest raining and there's like UFO beams and stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah seriously it's really like, yeah, like that, that yeah. yeah it had that war the worlds feel yeah, like you'd, yeah. you'd yeah. switch to like say blue to go in the blue tractor beam, and it'd like pull you up. <laughs> uh, really cool. it, it'd pull you up as you're going forward, <laughs> so you're gaining air that way. That's but, really cool. But it's like when you go on onto stages and stuff at the start, 
when you're sort of panning around your car, around the edges of the um, the screen, there'll be like some weather effect. Like if it's raining, there'll be little droplets of rain mm, and stuff. Nice. Or if it's like one of the deserts, like the Sahara Desert, there'll be like bits of sand around the. Yeah, it's sort of like what M4 is a horizon and that do now with the weather and that. Oh, yeah. You're actually getting wet and like. But the shock, the shock, the big shock about Fast and Furious is it's a big graphical, it's it, it, the game is pure eye candy. Yeah. But the shocking thing is, I'm going to show you it now. This is how much space it's taken up. Eight hundred. Wow. Only, only eight hundred and thirty-five megabytes. Not gigabytes, megabytes. I would be worried that if it was eight hundred and thirty-five megabytes. That is insanely small. Yeah. Is, um, it is one. It is less. It is less than one thirty tooth of the um, switch to internal memory. One thirty second. One thirty second. I did maths at school. I'm good at maths. It's a thirty second. I'll believe and, you this time. The ones I've got. Shovel Knight. Oh, sorry. Shovel Knight, is... Shovel Knight Treasure Trove, which I've downloaded. It takes up less than two hundred megabytes. Shovel Knight. It's about less than one hundred and fifty. Yeah. It's actually one hundred forty seven. All right. And. Blaster Master Zero, which is 183. <laughs> is Blaster Master Zero not like a SNES bomb or something? Like? It's programmed like a SNES game, so is oh, right. Shovel Knight. No, no, Shovel Knight is, because I've got that on 3DS. So, Shovel Knight is as well, but, um, it ta- but it's, one, it's one thing that surprises, uh, impresses me about Nintendo, all, all Nintendo software, all Nintendo software, which is basically, there must be bloody good compression technology. Yeah. You know? It's I say, when Super Mario 3D World came out for the Wii U, mm. it said, Save for about 100 megabytes. Can we take a hiatus because we're just laughing at that? <laughs> 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 well, I think we're coming up to about time so, on this. Sorry, sorry, but <laughs> um, this. The work person sitting next to us said, Oh, try it all. Try it all. It's, it's all right. And I tried and I almost fell on the fucking floor. Language. <laughs> <laughs> the, the question I was going to ask is Fast or Max made by the same people who did wipe out? Sorry? Is it made by the same people who did uh, Wipeout? No. Oh, right. uh, Fast Star Mech, uh, Wipeout was made by a student in Liverpool, yeah. who were, used to be a Mega Drive, but mm. much called Psygnosis. Yeah, oh, oh, no, I remember Psygnosis. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. a lot of people uh, are uh, Fast Star Mech was made by no, a German indie studio. <laughs> We apologise for this interruption whilst the train goes overhead. But Fast Star Max is made by a group <laughs> called Shinin. Alright. They're based in Germany, there are only seven people. That's a shame because it shut down the point that I was going to make up for the, the Wi-Fi game on Vita. <laughs> 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 it's going to be like, yeah. oh, the Wi-Fi game on yeah. Vita looks well, great. A lot of people have drawn <laughs> comparisons between Wipeout and Fast Star Max. Mm. I mean, I've not played Wipeout personally, so I've kind of brought the Vita. Fast Star Max is Wipeout on Game Boy. Wow. Right. Yeah. Okay. yeah, pretty much. Old school. But going back to the compression thing, if you remember Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U, yeah. save for a couple of hundred megabytes, mm. it could fit on a GameCube disc. Oh, yeah. That's how yeah, insane that it is. Yeah. Pretty much. Can we stop eating things out of this bowl? You don't seem to like any of them. But there's pepper in there. <laughs> We're getting red pepper. Okay, so, so uh, I think we've reached about the 20 odd minute mark now. So uh, let's uh, just wrap up and move on. So uh, move on to the game, which uh, this week, for people who are listening um is a, a, effort. Yeah, was a <laughs> photography challenge yes uh, i tasked everybody about a week ago to um go out with a camera and find a an inanimate object which looks like them or photograph an inanimate object which looks like them the only rules being that cannot directly bear their reflection <laughs> or image um, so it can't be a photo of them or a window that just happens to have their reflection in it um <laughs> so let's have a look at the fantastic prize that I have lined up is this mini Etch-a-Sketch. Oh, Yay! Oh my, oh my god, that can go so well with my mini uh, Rubik's Cube. I yes, that I lovely got you for Christmas. Yes, it's a, a, a little Etch-a-Sketch. I need it. It's, it's, about, it's about an inch and a half. I've got the right sort of size fingers for it, in fairness. Yes. So. so we have a mini Etch-a-Sketch up the Hold the phone, Greg. It's not just a mini Etch-a-Sketch. It's the world's smallest Etch-a-Sketch. Is that word? Yeah, the world's smallest Etch-a-Sketch. It's the world's smallest sketch of the Etch. And yes, it actually works. I can, verify this. I can verify this because it says so on the packaging. No, hang on, does it have a trademark after it? No, no, no. And as we all know, ladies and gentlemen, packaging never lies. No. <laughs> yeah, batteries included. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. Are hang they on. We watch are, batteries? It takes three AAAs. No, I think we are in trouble. World's smallest is trademarked. 
Yeah. That may be a lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can, we, we can still describe anyway. it as that. Trust no one, listeners. Anywho. Yeah. Okay, so back we're to the matter warning. Joking has it. Small pass, not for children under three years. Well, we'll be okay as long as it's bigger. I don't think it's three years. <laughs> swallow that. It's probably <laughs> bigger than their gut. As long as, as, long as, as long as it tastes like a switch cartridge, we're fine. I'd rather, <laughs> be, <laughs> I'd rather lick the switch cartridge again than taste another olive. You are fine with the switch cartridge, though, so I don't... Exactly. <laughs> Maybe that's what you do. Make switch cartridges taste like olives. You should taste the olives, and then you can just... I already know I don't like olives. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know. My, my mother likes olives. So she once had me get a jar of olives for her out the out the fridge and open it for her, and good Christ, the smell knocked me... <laughs> could have, like, could have stripped it's paint. It's slightly garlicky. <coughs> I've got olive or something. Hey, babe. <laughs> okay, so... Back to the Saskatoon. Start with... Go around counterclockwise this time, so we'll start with Darren. What, mm. is, what, what is the photograph that you've brought in of yourself? Well, it's not exactly a photograph, it's more like game box art. I, ba- yeah. I basically brought along a copy of Kid Chameleon on the Mega Drive. Kid Chameleon. That does look like it. Yeah, I, I, that's, why I, that's why I picked <laughs> it's it. It's Darren when he was more, younger. <laughs> yeah, I, I sort of picked it to show, so, sort of look like myself when I was a kid, you know, I say, yeah. In wanting to be cool when actually you're not cool. Got a leather jacket on, he must be cool. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. and, and shades. shades. <laughs> oh, we're looking at the Robocop rip off. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe the uh, thing uh, on the side there. The, <laughs> may, maybe the tank with the SS helmet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, I was, was going to say, is it another, if it, you might be able to see it on the photo on the video, but um, is, it, is, it, is it a little Jason Voorhees like? Thought <laughs> in the corner. So about Casey Jones in the universe. But it doesn't seem like a kabuki man. Casey jo- oh, yeah, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I, and, all right, so uh, I, I was Darren, so Kelly, let's have a look at yours. Well, mine's basically a pop vinyl of Sarah Jane Smith from Doctor Who. All right. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I was, I was originally going to go for the. Um, is this the why you want to get your hair cut before we? Do this? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, initially, I was going to pick the um, the cover art of um, Life is Strange, but I said that was the first thing I could find. Oh, so. no, did you bring your robot dog with you as well? <laughs> You've got a little a, a little toaster that can shoot lasers. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be dissing K9. He is the greatest dog ever. And as he says himself, affirmative. <laughs> Is he even a dog? He's a robot dog! Affirmative! <laughs> it's, it's, it's a toast of a head. <laughs> 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 Makes great crumpets. Uh, <laughs> do, you want to, do you want to pet a canine? I want to pet the canine. Good dog. Yeah. Affirmative. Yeah, uh, uh, pet. It's, yes, yeah, it's, it's just a Sam reference there. Activate <laughs> petting sequence. Pet. <laughs> Next! Mr. Myers. Oh, this is going to be this hilarious. Is this is going to be hilarious <laughs> because... Um, I had some other options that I could do, like the previous one that I thought of was um, like a lava lamp, so to speak. A lava lamp? Yeah, a lava lamp. That was, that, was just like, that was just like an idea that I had, because obviously, it's just, this, was be, this was be man's words, not mine. <laughs> oh said, God, um, right. When you, yeah, like when you power it. on, you sometimes go all over the place. <laughs> okay. What? Like, you know, the, 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 the lava lamp goes all over, never, over the place. Yeah, it goes all over the place. You never know. It can come like little small splodges or big splodges. Okay, well, I, I suppose then, ev- eventually the splodges will resemble your face, yeah, given enough time. Then I thought it's infinite monkeys, isn't it? Then yeah. I thought, okay, um, why not? I'll be like a kettle or a hot water bottle because Kelly will tell you that sometimes I go, I get hot some stages, but then I go super, super cold. And then He's basically Mister Freeze. Yeah, everybody freeze. You will not send me to the cooler. <laughs> yeah, it's the ice age. But then, but then it, it hit me. I thought I might as well just take a picture. And apparently, I am a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love lamps. It's just the that lamp is the in the corner of the living room. Lamp I have because ever seen um, in my life. He's score. He is skinny. I am. I am. I'm, li- I'm six he's foot. And I'm skinny as hell. But however, I do tend to be bright at some stages, but not all the time. <laughs> you have to ask me to turn off every now and then. Well, you said yeah. it. You said it. You said yeah. it. That is true. I don't care. Oh so so my! Oh my! But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, Myers. Lamp Man Myers. Don't make a T-shirt from it, or I'll kill you. Wait, you've given my idea. Right, Bex, <laughs> make T-shirts now. Bex, make T-shirts. Hey. Now. No, Finally. No, that that can be your card from Bex for your birthday. <laughs> that I love lamp. Just Bex. that lamp. Bex, if you listen to us, please don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Do it. No, well, I think I'm gonna do it instead. <laughs> 
No. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to preface this by saying uh, it might just look like a box for a game stick, not a sponsor. Um, but if you look closely, you, you, you have the logo for Android. <laughs> <laughs> so you have and as a and as a rather stout gentleman, I think yeah, that looks a bit like me. That's actually a, can that's actually a canny resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to get some hair gel and just like just get some hair stick. Well, the thing the, the thing is. <laughs> I'll fall flat on the little rascals. <laughs> Just with two instead of one. But when the challenge was set, it was like, I'm never gonna come up with an image for this. And then I saw this other call in my eyes, like, is that actually me? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that'll do it, snap. <laughs> so yeah, the the little Android guy on the side of this box, not to be confused with the Wi-Fi logo. <laughs> <laughs> not to be confused with the Wi-Fi. Is there exactly even more the so issue about it? Is there a QR code in there as well? <laughs> 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 Scan the content. Oh, looks like well, I'm not a QR code anymore. Yeah, great. Yeah, I'm a face now. Yeah. Jamie, Jamie is a QR code. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not for 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 the thing is that that QR code, I think, just you scan it and it says my name, but I'm really glad it comes up with Mudkip now. Yeah, it was a Mudkip or something like that. Wow. Yes, it's better than making yourself look like a diglet. So we're going to have to sit here and just recite Mudkip for the next 10 hours. Mudkip! 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 Let us know in the comments below what is your favourite Pokemon? If it isn't Mudkip, I will be deeply offended. They won't choose, I won't choose. Yeah, we're just going to have a bit of filler conversation until Kelly gets back. And I, I've got to think of, think of a winner here. A winner. He's, he's, he's so, a, whilst Kelly is away, obviously you have him doing stuff, how do we actually decide who actually wins this extra sketch Is Greg judging? I, 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 yeah, well, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I would normally be providing a... A, a, a thing, but um, I, I'm, I'm on the next week. I've got a, I've got a bit of a more impromptu game lined up next month. Um, just, just as filler ooh. content, I've noticed that the rug this table is on uh, has appeared in two different places. Uh, one in my mate's house, he's got one, and then two at my house, we also have one of these Ooh. rugs. Yeah, yeah, it's the same I, colour. I, I, yes, I have, it's exactly the same rug. <laughs> I have similar rugs at home. I'm pretty sure it's the rug from my lab. <laughs> <laughs> my nerd is in the mood to speak. What? <laughs> is the ghost of Robin Williams around? I don't know, let's find out. Rook, can you speak? Stop <laughs> spilling things on me! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um... Don't worry, you've not missed anything, Colin. Okay. Epic, <laughs> uh, uh, as 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 well, oh, oh, or is he like well, 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 I'll, I'll be deciding vote. I've, I'll, oh, I'll oh, be, oh you're going to be decider? Oh, God. Yeah, I'll, 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 <laughs> I think so. Um, let's see. I like I quite, I quite, quite like Darren's. You know, I quite like Kelly's. Ad Adams was quite well thought out. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Doesn't that, it doesn't actually look it's like him, but it's an object that he sort of more bodies in. I thought for Adams just for the originality. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's well, just because just, he's it, skinny it more, and tall. Well, I think he's it, it more embodies in. Like it's, it's a more, uh, he's more personification of a lamp. No, Adam's more of the monkey on the wallpaper that we, is right next to us. Yeah, for those people who don't actually know, there's like a massive like, wallpaper with just loads <laughs> of monkeys. It's like an Andy Warhol wallpaper. Is it an Andy Warhol? Wall? It looks. I think it is Andy Warhol. Wall. Wall. I forgot to get it, but he did one of like Marilyn Monroe yeah. and stuff like that. And yeah. He did, he did a soup can. I know like, Marilyn Monroe certainly changed yeah. a lot. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I think uh, Marilyn Monroe. I said no, no filter, no makeup. Great, <laughs> 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 right, um, anyway. Yes. Okay, so. Great, great, final thoughts. I got my goes to Adam's lamp. Yeah. I got um, lamp. <laughs> Okay, well, um, I, th I, th I think the lamp might have just scraped it then. Um, Do you want to jump in? I love that. Just, 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 just for like consensus, really. <laughs> <laughs> general, general consensus is so the lamp. Congratulations. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I just, can I say a few words? No. <laughs> <laughs> it can go with your da- your tiny little. Um, yeah, I like that. It can go with, with, it can go with you, me a lamp. It um, can go with the mini Rubik's cube that you got this, for Christmas. Just get my next stop, mini Monopoly. If the few words are, thank you very much. Then yes, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you very I, much. I, I, I you like, have to do it like Elvis. I like, I'd like to take the academy. So I'm a man of few. I do I like to see few words as well. Do like do like. Thank Ron, you. Do like Ron Swanson. So I'm a man of few <laughs> words. Thank you. <laughs> oh, was it? And Muppets Christmas Carol is just like, I have a few words to say. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Oh, it's on the subject. That was short. It's on the quick subject as well. Thank you all. Um, Merry Christmas. Actually, Friday, <laughs> Friday was gone. Was the anniversary of Ron Swanson attending 96 meetings in one day. <laughs> but also because no, March the 31st was a date that apparently April thought did not exist. Ah, I saw that, yeah. It reminds me in a way of um, mostly you won't have heard of a guy called Graham Hill. He was a former F1 world champion, but he was a funny guy. Oh, yeah. There was one time at a dinner speech where he basically he got up and he said, Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure. Then he sat down. <laughs> <laughs> and that oh, is how you do an exciting speech. Oh, well, that's like, is it, is it, is it, Joke that like for somebody doing a, like a best man speech, you say, "Ah, oh, the best man." Like, well, you know what they say about best man speeches is that they should last as long as the groom does in bed. <laughs> Thank you very much. And sits down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well yeah, then. Yeah, I think a great thing for like a best man speech is you know how like everybody gets them off the internet. Yeah. It's yeah. just somebody gets sent a link and they just read that out to ask the first man. Doesn't it still? It's an HTTP double colon forward slash forward slash www.bestmanspeech.com quote unquote original forward slash speech number six. Thank you. Well, funny you should mention that. I actually made like a speech to me sister's wedding, but I wouldn't say like a best man speech, more like they're giving away a speech so to speak. So that's yeah. a best man speech. Yeah, pretty much. I don't care. Best man speech I want not. But pretty much, I think that one of the quotes I said was. Love you both, best of best for your future, but for the love of God, keep the noise down on our fragile child. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I was gonna, I was gonna say, I, was, I thought yours would have been like, um, best of luck in your marriage, can I have your room please? <laughs> <laughs> actually, funny thing is, that actually, I'll tell you what you really 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 yet. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, because no, no, during my sister's wedding, I actually said that. Um, I always say I keep the noise down, but obviously when they moved out, I actually did get their room. Woo! Oh, you got your own way! Yeah, I got my own way. And, hey. the, and the room's still tiny. It is. It is yeah. the world's most tiny Ke- room. As Kelly can just... As I, Kelly can, can, I can, conf- I yeah, can, can. I can confirm. Well, I've only, I've only seen room. the living room and the stairs, so... You do not want to see the Myers. Oh, and the kitchen. I've seen the kitchen. Really? Yeah. Um, yeah, so, um, we've got off on enough of a tangent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, TV themes, go. Power Rangers! Which one? The original one, okay. because you know, because there's more than one original one. <laughs> the original Mighty Morphin one, of course. Go, go Power Rangers. Yes. Yes. On that. I one. mean, come on, the movie's just come. <laughs> the movie's just come out. May as well just talk about that straight away. Not seen it yet, but I've heard that uh, people think that it's decent. Yeah, it's I think it's like I feel like you're a fan of like the original series on that. Then it's I was one of those. I was one of those children who didn't have the right channels for <laughs> Power Rangers. <laughs> so. I was, I was lucky I had cable as a child. I, I, was, I was not allowed to watch Power Rangers for a while. Too violent for you? No, it was because my parents didn't want me to watch it and then try and copy what they were doing. Really? Well, well, I, just, 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 just in case I got hurt, you know. It was too big for the violence. PG for a reason, Greg. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, though, it's like being, even though it's ma- it was made in New Zealand, New Zealand actually banned it from being shown on yeah. telly. It's like, well, New Zealand banned the their own work. work. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I think right. the first Power Rangers series I watched was Wild Force. Good series. Underrated. That's my big complaint about the Power Rangers series. It's um, too many iterations. Yeah. yeah. Too many. It's been going for flipping 24 Wait, years many. now. So. Can't, can't all all it, and all it, to me, it's just the same thing. Would... Fight a monster, monster suddenly grows, yeah. Megazord comes out, beats monster. <laughs> There you go. I just yeah, explained Monster Power Rangers. Rangers. You missed the bit where they wave their arms around and do car wheels for 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's basically like, like a monster. <laughs> Not even hitting it. <laughs> Boom. But yeah. Or even his general direction, he does several yeah. forward flips. But yeah. Like, this, this, isn't, this isn't theme song either. That's, yeah, yeah but the theme tunes and that. Like, all the theme tunes have actually always been pretty good until Saban re got back when they basically rehashed the original. And basically I'm destroyed not, it. I've not heard the well, soundtrack for the movie. 
So. No, not the um, not for the oh, new right, movie, okay. but for the actual series and that when Saban Ray bought it after for um, Okay. Oh, which one was it? Samurai. They got it back for then and they just rehashed the original and it was oh. basically eh. Alright. Right. Uh, so one of my all time favourite theme songs gotta be the nineties uh, X Men animated. I knew it! I knew it! Right. It's the it's the best! Right. No, I'm actually not. um me, Adam, and Darren before we're discussing on what we're going to talk about it, and we knew you were going to talk about X Men. <laughs> it's the best thing. It is amazing. Like, <laughs> what, what's wrong with it? Nothing is wrong with it. It makes you want to go out and kick some ass. <laughs> it makes me really want to cosplay as Jubilee still. Yeah. I need to do that. I, I just knew what was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should move on to Adam because he's got an interesting one he wants to talk about. Yes, um, pretty much. Um, I'm going to bring it up on YouTube right now for him. Yeah, but pretty much, um, I speak for pretty most people, but all the iconic TV themes are always like video game shows, especially of like the likes of Catchphrase, Big Break, that, that, uh, Big that, Break. That is the generation. Yeah, but the Catchphrase when they all use the old Crystal BBC micro graphics. Yes. <laughs> yeah, even especially the Crystal Maze, which is still really, really good to this very, oh, very yeah. day. Not bum, too keen on bum, like bum, 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 bum. Family Fortunes. <laughs> family Fortunes wasn't too keen on that one. Gladiators. Um, Gladiators being one, wow, even um, classic, the biggest <laughs> one. Um, Hell yeah. Classic, yeah. classic Robot Wars as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, but for those that, for those that are not that can't see it, I'm actually playing for the people now. The the theme from Catchphrase that Adam was was describing, which was when you were flying through a space maze. <laughs> and I mentioned to Greg earlier that was a different it's one. a high tech intro for it sure. That wasn't exactly high tech. It was a different one though, like space maze wise. It was like a big circle, like some sort of yes. Yeah. Thing. But this I is this is the re the original no, one. I get blockbusters. Mm. Yeah. But that was just flying through a city, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah it's still Even when... Um, Countdown. Countdown to yeah. the TV. Obviously, just going back to the... <laughs> 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 yeah, but just going back to the... Like funerals. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Whoa. Really? <laughs> that <laughs> went <laughs> talk quickly? Yeah, here it is. Go. No, just just going, but just going back to, obviously, for, like, the topic of blockbusters, for obviously, for the theme-wise, do you guys want to remember, like, when the blockbuster scene was playing and they had, like, that little strange little dance oh. going around? No. No, I don't think I remember that one. You do, there was like a dance. Know, I just realised the fucking phone speaker doesn't work. <laughs> so, but basically there it is, it's just the theme and he's just flying through a city. Oh, on, a, on, a, on a sea of hexagons. I was going to say all the buildings are hexagons. That's <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. god, so many. Yeah. Colors. So many hexagons. Yeah. Whoever, yeah. whoever made the intro obviously loved their six-sided shapes. Yeah. yeah. Well, probably the Saturday morning stuff like SMTV and Live and Kicking, they were actually quite good I, as well. I didn't watch much of Live and Kicking. I'm old and I'm um, old enough to remember stuff like Mortar Mouse and Tis no Ed, Tis, no, not, not Tis, not that far back. <laughs> <laughs> You're still the old no one, yeah. Edmunds, no Edmunds, Multicolors, Swap Shop. The old, no no Edmunds, Edmunds Multicolors, Swap Shop. The old house party. Dick and Dom in the bungalow. Go, go, Dick and Dom in the bungalow. I love Bogies. the Silver fan because they, they claim that they were endangering children. Yeah, by shouting bogies at the top of the voice. There was of one the time when they actually did that in an actual There's messy, library. messy, no, muck, I know. Muck. Yeah. Messy, messy, muck, muck. Do the pants dance. Yeah. The thing is, I can only, I can only watch like maybe half of that because uh, on Saturday mornings, like I went out to karate at like ten. Um, for start half ten. Don't so mess like, with Greg. Yeah, so it was like nine, nine till <laughs> ten. I you could only watch half of it. Yeah. Do you, not, do you not own one of these adventures that was called what was it? A video recorder. Apparently not. I wouldn't set up a video recorder for Dick and Tom's bungalow. It's the same thing every week. It's Tune. Like, so they're going to play some stupid games. Some play some stupid games. Some crappy nineties, car, crappy two thousands cartoons, and then people get guns yeah. in the get, end. Get, get the tiny ones out, like the little little, little ones, where so it's just the heads and the mini Dick and Dom. Mini, <laughs> mini, 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 mini Dick and Dom in the cupboard. Look at Titchy Dick and Dom. Titchy Dick and Dom. Titchy Dick. 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 Richard McCourt, we apologise <laughs> for that. Tiggy dick. <laughs> That's why you have to say the poor little oh, Tiggy dick and dog. Tiggy dick. I thought you said, I, I thought you said touch your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, we apologise for this segment. <laughs> oh my god, I heard something completely different. <laughs> Okay, yeah. let's get back to the map. Yeah. Let's get back to the map. One of our shows had really good theme tunes and stuff. Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes? 
Yeah. Seen it's a good one. Oh, yeah, it, 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 it's a really good watch. I feel like we should just stick to the old school here. Like. Well, it, yeah. well it, it came out like, what, 2010? It was 2010, 2012, but it's a really um, good show. You should, you should watch it. Oh, yeah. Theme, theme song is pretty, pretty, pretty good, like really good. Yeah. Whereas, like, that's... considering these days, it's just a quick musical sting and the title, and that's it. Yeah. So it was like back when proper title sequences occurred. That's where the animators yeah. were lazy, so they just filled the first two minutes with a theme song. Balamorbi. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> Do you like to know? That reminds me of a joke I've heard before. That's a real place as well. Ultimately, it's a joke I've heard. If, if it was, if anyone's seen it on Mock the Week. We apologise for the things you have seen, may have seen in Balamori. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you've been if offended by anything, <laughs> if you've been offended by a man living in a big pink castle, <laughs> please write to Newswatch right now or because point you of view. Because your series is actually a homophobe. If you if you are offended by this guy in a pink castle, please seek help immediately. <laughs> yeah. No, well, two that were actually that really good, which were are like classics. Green Hill, the original one from the 70s. Yeah, down us. And the original Betty Gove one. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, come on. I'm, I'm one of these people. I'm, I'm one of these people that could not stand Betty Gove. I love Betty Gove. I, I still I, remember the day that I, I got blinded with the paintball. Yeah, I, 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 I can get, get into Betty Gove. Oh, I love Betty Gove. It was too, it was too serious for me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you got well, blinded by paintball. Blind it's a thing, it's, it's such a serious ball. topic, so I'll just keep blind now. It oh, actually yeah. got filmed in the pizza shop at the bottom of my street once, <laughs> before it got axed. I could have been an extra. In <laughs> the mean, pizza shop, I'd just um, been like, ah. I, 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 think I'm, I might be up in Edinburgh early this week, um, when Avengers is filming. Mm. Alright. So, right. so I, I might, I, if, if the chips fall the right way, I could sn sneak into the back background of it. What, well, you mean like all of us trying to get into the, um, the newest Transformers when they were filming yeah. here as well? For the record, we are recording this in the same city where they've shot some of the new Transformers movie. Mm. Which yeah. is amazing! I, 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 Rise of the Night, um, I think it's called. Rise, Rise of the Night, yeah. I think it's called. Greg was on the set. Yeah, I was yeah, on the set. Are you one of those people that were stuck in pret a manger while they were trying to film it? No. I was no, one of the people that was stood outside of them. Um, what was it? Harry's when Mark Ruffalo was apparently um, sat inside having his bait. <laughs> well, though, apparently people were still going inside whilst he was in there. So I we could have was... actually gone in there, had some food, and actually met him at the same time. Yeah, so there, I would be like, give me your phone. I want a photo with you. We got that. And there's a chippy in Glasgow that brags about Justin Bieber going in to have some haggis once. Oh, I've never been doing that shop. <laughs> Justin, Be Justin Bieber. Yeah, his dinner here. They, yeah, Can we not talk about the Biebs? Yeah, well, they, 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 call that, they, they call that haggis supper the Bieber supper now. Right, remind, yeah. remind me to never go to that chip shop. <laughs> Yeah, it's under Central Station, so... Oh, good God. That, 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 that's where, like, uh, like, like, next to where all the homeless people congregate, so... <laughs> like, you go through that, it's like, put always, like, Let's sleeping pull. bags and pull stuff out. Yeah. That's wonderful. The, like, the only TV themes I can really remember are from, like, cartoons in the 90s. Mm. Yeah. So, oh, if, if oh, I give yeah. you a line every day when you're walking down the street... Arthur. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Arthur. Touch TV. One, two, three. The Crown Twins. Oh, Jesus, the Crown Twins. Yeah, pretty much. Then watch. Pretty much anything from the Cartoon Network series up until like the last Cartoon show that was actually decent was Kids Next Door. Then after that, it turned absolutely bad. So somebody's not been watching Steven Universe. No. I don't watch it. Basically, anything that we watched as a kid was good. The Dexter's Lab. I think what Adam is trying to say anything they made after the likes of Dexter's Lab, the Powerpuff Girls, and Johnny Bravo. Pretty much. Hold on. Hold on. Are we forgetting one of the best TV themes ever made? Well, there's that. But it wasn't that one. Hang on. What? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So on our way yeah. down here, I said you play a single chord, you'll know what song it is, and you didn't guess what it was. Teenage that was the song I wanted. Ninja Turtles. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, okay, it's Tiana. Yeah, I, I, yes. I can I can, beat, I can beat the Ninja Turtles to be honest. Because I'm gonna go back to the seventies. No, not the seventies. <laughs> not at all. Yeah, but there was still a Carlo Necro in that when no. we were kids. I'm, so. I'm gonna go back to like the mid to late eighties. Okay. If you if you go, da da da, you're gonna recognise it immediately as Thundercats. Not really. I never, I watched, never watched them. I never watched them. Yeah. Yeah. But, but basically, I, I, the cartoons in the 80s were I, renowned for overly epic.
epic intros. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, no. I, I didn't watch Thundercats, but I did. I, I did. I did watch the Prey of Thundercats, Thunderbirds. <laughs> oh. Yeah. One of no, one of my. Just cats oh, like that and kill birds. <laughs> Thunderbirds. <laughs> if it's one thing Jerry Anderson loves to do, <laughs> if it's one thing Jan Dar Jerry Anderson was good at, was themes. epic themes. Thunderbirds. Five. Thunderbirds. Sting. Sting. Oh. Five. Oh. Sting. Sting. Me. Epic for that drum solo alone. Oh God. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Thunderbirds are gold. And your are battle stations. Yeah. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Scarlet. That's the Captain thing. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. Stand by yeah. for action. Crap gets blown up. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen next half hour. Shit gets blown up. Yeah. Yeah. No, nothing, there's nothing like Thunderbirds explosions. Yeah. There is, so I, 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 can I can challenge. I can challenge. The original Mario I can challenge people to find an episode of anything Jerry Anderson's done where something has not been blown up. I was going to say, well, with Thunderbirds, it was always like, okay, somebody's stuck somewhere. That was every episode. Pretty it's much, like, yeah. They sent one of the Thunderbirds, and then it's like, okay, we're here to help. Then it explodes, <laughs> and then they rescue the people. That's all you watch Thunderbirds for. You want to see yeah, just crap in get and blown up. Yeah. yeah. But, but also, the, the, like, some scenes where, like, they shake a bridge and there's, like, a finger in shot. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the yeah. thing. If anyone's seen the Thunderbirds movie, Movie Thunderbirds are going. Not the, not, the, not, the, not the crappy live yeah. action remake. I'm talking about the original one from 1967. I like that one. Oh, you do you think? Do you think it's a, another thing that um, another thing that um, they were renowned for. Not just blowing stuff, but also building things. Mm. If you think the original 1967 film, they dedicated the entire first 10 minutes of that movie. To building a spaceship. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and I don't know why, but I found that amazingly epic. You see, that, that is the theme as well for that as well. Like the, the music it was playing. That spaceship as well. Like the model. Yeah. You, see, you see, the actual model for that was about eight foot long. It was. And, and they blew it up at the end. Yeah. Oh, they blew it up twice. <laughs> they blew it up twice. Oh. They built two, two, two of them and they blew them both up. In fact, the one that built. <laughs> in that intro sequence, it got destroyed ten minutes later in a crash. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, actually, just think, just think about something, something I found out yesterday uh, is that um, Matt Zimmerman and Shane Rimmer uh, appearing at NFCC, and they voiced yeah. um, Alan and Scott in the original Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to take my 50th anniversary calendar of DVDs. Nice. <laughs> yeah, get, <laughs> although, get although, signed. Although, although that does mean taking the 50th anniversary DVDs out of its box, out of the pa out of the plastic wrap. Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. Do the thing. Although the uh, uh, and I say the calendar as well. The calendar does have just a mis do, does just, have a mistake just, on it. Just when you when you remove it out of the packaging, don't don't go all comic book guy. Yeah. <laughs> It has no collector's value. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah. back to the themes. Yeah, I keep, I keep forgetting. There's one final theme because obviously, because obviously, time's took, obviously ticking away. Don't so obviously, we will just uh, mention something. Don't mention the time. Um, wacky races. Yes. Wacky races. Who keeps who? I will tell you. It's just talking, but it was amazing. It's just Hannah Barbera. I will tell you to the degree that I love Wacky Race as a kid. My mother has repeatedly told me that um, my nursery teacher begged my mother to get me to stop watching Wacky Races. So <laughs> I kept reciting the only thing I was playing Wacky Why Races really? during nursery. That's amazing. I, I was driving them crazy. That apparently. is actually incredible. Yeah. I, I was apparently just drive, I, who, driving them insane. Okay, who, who was your favourite character? Uh, it, was, it was Pat Pending. Oh, it was Pat Pending, number three. Yeah, no, number three it's in the Camera car. <laughs> Mine's got to be either but the Gruesome Truesome or the Until More. But to be, to be, I, I, I was going to say Until More, but I was going to say, did anyone watch Wacky Races and not have a massive heart on for Penelope Pissed Off? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone had a proper end. Wasn't there one of them that was basically on. speed racing? Heart on. Heart on. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, <laughs> that was a totally different program. No, he's a perfect no. That's what yeah. yeah. now. There, there was another thing around the same time, uh, it was called Yogi Space Race. Oh, oh yeah, my Yogi god. Yeah. It was that as well that no, no, I watched yeah, like, I'm, think, I'm thinking of one of those uh, feature length films that it was called Yogi Bear and the Spruce Goose. Oh god. Mm. 
That was when yeah. we were trapped in an airplane for a whole day. Well, I was going to say, actually, that um, Wacky Races has the same progression as the Disney movie Cars. Because <laughs> they went from cars to planes and then went from yeah. Wacky Races to Stop the Pigeon. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stop the Pigeon! No, Stop did, the did, Pigeon! I thought, I thought that came That's another before good thing. Wacky Races. No, 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 that was after it. Because the, the one I know that came after it was because Penelope Pistock was so popular, she got her own cartoon. Yes, yes. she did. I had, I had VHS of Penelope Pistock. I had VHSs of that. Didn't um, Anthill Mob be pop? Wasn't they not pop? Uh, uh, the Anthill Mob were in the Penelope Pistock. I'm surprised yeah. they didn't get a spin-off because they were so yeah. popular. And all Penelope Pistock was, Hooded, was Hooded Claw tries to kill Penelope until save Penelope. But and Claw tries Pierre to Pierre kill Penelope again. Until save Penelope. Mm. And repeat, Jimmy. rinse and repeat. And then you get Peter Perfect who was basically just trying to um, get Peter into bed per- with her. Peter Perfect was a dick. He was <laughs> pretty much. His car was shaped like one as well. Actually, there was an episode of Wacky Races where the end of his car extends. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that it? That's <laughs> No, 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 Dick Dastardly's nose cone went out on like a scissor mechanism. <laughs> and, and funny enough, from what I remember that episode, he got disqualified and Penelope pissed off won the race. Fair one. Yeah. Yeah. These, these Dick Dastardly can fixed. easily win every race because he's got the best car if he didn't stop to like dig a pit. Pretty much. Yeah, you see, that's <laughs> a, like, that's hide behind that's the tree. This Dick thing. Dastardly could yeah. just drive through the race, but remember, this is Dick Dastardly. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> this is that's it. He does not want to win, he wants to win it bad. He wants to win in style. But yeah, yeah. Um, going off like the classic ones like that, obviously you've got like Scooby Doo and that. Oh, of course. Yeah. But Do- then, um, Doctor- you mentioned the Hair Bear Bunch. Yes, I did mention, yeah, the Hair Bear Bunch, and then what was the other one that I was on about the other day? Um, la 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 that la. That was the la, banana la. split. Banana split. Oh, I, th- I thought you were going to the Smurfs there for a minute. La 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 la. la, la, la. There was one yeah, I remember. Yeah, banana split, which is the live action was, version of Hair Bear Bunch. I remember as well. Where and it banana was just two, banana three, banana four. I'm, I'm trying to think what it was. <laughs> bananas in pajamas. Not bananas in pajamas. But that was it. No. There was one from the Ooh. early early nineties, right? I had um, I just it was just basically yeah. some very crappy eighty style synth music. And just <laughs> a guy just doing a very down. boring narration. I'm just trying to think. Oh yeah, it was the raccoons. Oh, oh the raccoons. The raccoons. That was yeah. just a very that intro was just a very boring narration. It was, it was, it was, it was the same thing with Bimble's bucket as well. I used to. Probably the Angry Beavers. I used, I, used to, I used to. I think I used to rent VHS tapes from the from the library of like Bimble's bucket. I used to do that with Tintin. I will say one thing though, we are we'll talk about theme tunes for about twenty minutes. Good. We, we have and we've not even mentioned probably the most infectious one of all. Okay. Oh. Greg will know about this. Oh, because oh, it, yeah. one of his big guys, Doug Walker, the nostalgic critic. It's Doug, isn't it? Always <laughs> says, always <laughs> says about this. <laughs> always, always says about this. This simple phrase: uh-huh. "It'll never leave." Do do do. And all he can do is just do an intro. Do, 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 do. And all, it, and all the ways when he says it'll never leave, he's referring to this. Life is like a Yes, DuckTales. We've gone through 20 and not even mentioned DuckTales. Basically, anything that was on anything that was on Disney in the the 90s as a cartoon was amazing. That's nothing he says though. DuckTales. DuckTales was 1987. I don't care. Late 80s, early 90s. DuckTales and the Gummy Bears. Which, interestingly, is getting a full remake. Yeah, David Tennant is Scrooge McDuck. Great, because it was a period. Release the launch pad, yeah, so quack, yeah. and we'll be back. It was a period of time where all theme songs were just doos, dars, and nars. Everything <laughs> yes. basically in the nineties. <laughs> Everything like in the eighties and nineties. It was in the eighties. It had to have heavy synth. I've got that in my head now. Like, like I said, it'll never leave. That is true. It'll never leave. It'll never leave. It'll never leave. Yeah, I'm just saying because I've been watching it lately again. Um, Saved by the Bell and Sabrina the Teenage Witch as well. I've not seen Supreme Theatre Twitch in years. I don't it's on the oh, vault! I, I, I don't I don't think I can remember the theme of it. Oh, that's right, you've got Sky. Sky. It's on the vault. Didn't, I don't know if Sky either. Didn't, that was when Deck used to spend five minutes of each SMT trying to profound, trying to provide, trying to show his love to, to Melissa Joan Hart. <laughs> 
at all. But we're listening to the whole fucking thing. In one, one time, he was allowed to go to America mm. and meet her. Mm. Sweet. In fairness, though, Melissa Joan Hart back then, and even now, it's is fixed. still fit. <laughs> she does a program on an E4 now called Melissa and Joey with a. Um, it's really oh, not very good. <laughs> oh, Joey. Joey. It's just called <laughs> Joey. <laughs> no, he was um, on like the Disney One word like Madonna. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Were you calling Inspector Gadget there? No, that's not the one. Inspector Gadget. I didn't call Inspector Gadget. What are you on about? You did without me. That's a thing we haven't mentioned yet either. Inspector Gadget. Do 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 on that note, I think it's about time to wrap up. But before we do, because I'm not going to be here on Wednesday, it is Adam's birthday coming up. Oh! Well, I have gotten him this. Open it in, oh. open it for us. Do you actually it. want me to open it right now? Yes. 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 Open it. <laughs> open it. The fuel it's not going to explode, I promise. I'm going to move away. Why are you holding my girlfriend? Because the Protecting you from the explosion? <laughs> explosion? There's nothing to ex- explode for. You never know. Her. No, and Greg. It's a bomb. But yeah, but look, this is the guy. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. No, but be in mind, this is the person that got my sister a hobby horse for Christmas. Yes! <laughs> yes. So, oh, I did. It was the, the best, it was the best oh, money that I've spent in a while. <laughs> Open the it's thing. It's just tormented him with it. Yeah, it's just tormented Yes! That is awesome! What is it? You have to explain to the people! Oh, oh, that's excellent. His parents got me. Um, it's I have no idea. It's an Overwatch t-shirt. It's actually my main, a Zenya. That's actually yeah. really that's cool. That's incredible. He's yeah, spear pond. Yeah, it's, 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 that is actually really yeah, cool. Our design is called the Vitruvian Omnic for anybody who might that be interested. That is actually excellent. That and is, I, I have no idea what the hell is happening. Experience it's, it's, tranquility. Yeah, it's, 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 it's actually says on the label, Fruit of the Loom. Oh, they make really good t-shirts, actually. That is the name of the t-shirt. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, they do make really good t-shirts. They do. There's a reason why I've been around for as long as they have. That's actually quite cool, Greg. Thank you very much. Yeah. Really also, appreciate. worth mentioning, was not a sponsor of Fruit of the Loom either. <laughs> <laughs> not sponsored. No, not sponsored. That's actually cool. Thank you very much. Really. And on that note... Yes, yeah, so uh, thank and you. And also, um, just before we go, I um, just want to announce the winner of the um, the stream that I actually had mm. last night. But that's pretty much it. Um, Jen Cooper, you've won yourself a t-shirt. So... And not that t shirt. Not the t shirt I've got. You won't tell me what t shirt you've won, just a t shirt. Just a t shirt. <laughs> just a blank insert t shirt. Yeah. <laughs> although, actually, I think my, possibly one of my favourite t shirts I actually want to get is a t shirt that's just plain. It has really small text here, and when you look at it, it says nosy fucker, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that, yeah. yeah. But yeah, so we apologise for the language. Yeah, yeah, let's right? just wrap up this issue of yes. the baking tray. So, thank you to Jamie, Adam. And Kelly and Darren. You're very welcome. And we shall come to you next month. We're going to watch. Bye.